and welcome everybody for YouTube from for a deck that I like to call Demir Quasi Sacrifice. I was just describing this deck off YouTube, or like on stream here, but then like not during the YouTube recording. And I guess I should have done it, wait until the YouTube recording, but uh, just kind of quickly kind of go over it again. Basically, what we're doing here is we have a quasi duplicate deck, so we're playing a bunch of creatures that we want to that have ETB effects that we want to copy. And also have a sacrifice theme with Playcrafter and Eldritch Reborn. Makes the deck a whole lot better against things like Is It Drakes that we have uh, those effects as well. So we're at quasi sacrifice, is why I call it. Uh, question is why Dark Legion Zealot? It's just a it's a solid two drop um, that we need we need two drops that could just kind of hit our, our land drops. You know, we get to effect, you know, it plays it, it's just a creature on the battlefield. Um, it's good with Midnight Reaper where we can chump block draw another card and we just want to hit land drops because like hostage shaker you want a lot of mana because you want to be able to play your hostage shaker take something and then be able to cast that and so on so it's just kind of a filler uh on the curve there uh thief of sanity is not in the deck it was originally in the deck but cut thief of sanity from midnight reaper and midnight reaper has been performing a lot better than thief of sanity was um thief of sanity is just you know it's it's something the opponent absolutely wants to kill there's nothing like our other creatures if we already cast our thing with Hostage Shaker or if we Chupacabra something, Zealot, Squire, you know, there's not really other things they absolutely want to kill. Midnight Reaper is a card they absolutely want to kill. But if they kill it, we get to, uh, you know, we deal, deals one to us and we draw a card. If they Lava Coil Midnight Reaper, then obviously it gets exiled, you know. We don't get anything, but same with Thief of Sanity. But overall, I've been, I've been perfectly happy with the deck without Thief of Sanity. Um... So let's go ahead and get to the games. We'll go home, play, traditional constructed, thousand gold Demir quasi sacrifice. No, I, I would not ever play, I would not take out a Chupacabra or a Hostage Shaker from this deck. Um, question was, play a second Maramine over, over a Chup. Um, Plague Mare, there's just lots of decks where it doesn't do very much against. And I, I have two more Plague Mares in the sideboard. I think it's a usually a good sideboard card, but I think having one to kind of hedge is fine, but it's not something that I don't think you need more of. If the metagame would turn into a spot where um, there were lots of token-type decks, then yeah, put in some more. So keeping kind of a, a risky one here with the two tap lands to start with. It's a little risky like that. Our opponent's just not doing anything. It's weird. But we still have like Squire on, on like two to be able to help find another land and another Squire. You know, like we have two lands, two Squires. Our, what is going on? We just get, just get a free win to start with, I guess. Any thoughts about the Pirate Forerunner to tutor for Hostage Taker? Um, yeah, it's just, it's just too slow. It's not... I don't think that's good enough. It's not something I think I've been... Yeah, it's not something that I really want. So they are... So I'm guessing they kept, like, Miss Cloak Herald plus... I don't know. They were on the play, weren't they? I think they were on the play. Like, that has to be... Yeah, it has to be Curious Obsession. And we'll have Playcrafter be able to kill this Miss Cloak Herald now. Oh, unless they have another one drop, I guess. Okay, so now we need a land for Chupacabra. No land. They made chump block. Okay, nope, no chump block. And we'll sack the Seeker Squire, draw a card. There's the land drop. But it's not mono blue aggro because they got river sneak. You don't usually see that card in mono blue. Yeah, Mass having a good day. We are on our fourth lead of the day so far. How's your day been? Hmm. Alright, play crafter again. I 
I think Eldritch Reborn's too easy to... I think Eldritch Reborn's too easy to counter. It's easier to counter. Ah. I guess I should play Squire first. Because I could have sacrificed Squire. Yeah. Now, if we draw a blue source, we can double duplicate the Playcrafter. Had surgery on Christmas evening on my wrist and it's been hurting with going back to work. Oh, man. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that's rough. Exclusion age. Uh, blue source. Yeah. So now they'll need Spell Pierce, because I'm playing around Dive Down. <sighs> they do have Spell Pierce. Hmm. I guess I just pay. That's annoying. We'll put them down to two. Man, what if we lose this with our opponent not playing a land on the first, like, three turns? This could be Murf. This could be Trick. Uh, Murfolk Trickster? Trickbinder? Trickster. Yeah, Murfolk Trickster, if they would have played that and, and made my Playcrafter lose its abilities, would that have done something? Alright, close game. When I did not think that was going to be a close game. Let's get our Plague Mares in. Probably just want Ritual of Sits and Cast Downs, right? We just want all those like cheap interactive spells. I don't think I like Quasi-Duplicate in general in this matchup. No, it's probably fine. Midnight Reaper can come on out. And... Eldest Reborn. Dress and Negate are actually great. Immortal Sun, come on out. And Zealot. Don't think we need the Zealots. If we're trimming our curve like this. Play a Reaper over a Zealot? I think so. I do need some water. It's a good point. Yeah, especially being on the draw, we could maybe take out a land. We still want to hit, you know, like at least four lands and probably like five or six. Certainly need at least four for Chupacabra and Hostage Taker, and I'd like to be able to cast, like, whatever, Hostage Taker right away. Yeah, we hopefully have other things to deal with, Storm Tamer and stuff, but... Yeah, everything gets dive down. Dive down's gonna be a good card against us. I'm glad we didn't cut a land, though. Is the new Gruul enchantment deleting mono blue and heavy control decks from the map? No. Nope. Hmm. 
I guess we're squiring. I don't think we need to cast down this when we have a Plague Mare in our hand, but we do need a, another Black Source. There we go. There's going to be a whole lot of decks that are going to be viable in the next set. It's not going to be just Turbo Fog and Gruel and things like that. There's going to be lots of decks. It looks like a good set. Do you have the current deck list somewhere? On Stream Decker, the one's different. Oh, yeah, I did not, I did not update the Stream Decker deck, did I? Good call. I, I forgot to put it on Stream Decker with the other stuff. All right, Demir Quasi Sacrifice. All right, let me edit this. So no exclusion mage, one plague mare. That's the only change we made. Yeah, that was the only change we made. Let me update this. There you go. Deckless command updated now. Oh man, we get to quasi duplicate the plague mare. So that's good. I'm gonna decline. I don't think I need to to pay. Dress did its thing. It took the it took the spell pierce. It did its thing. And there we go. Victory. Way to go, Plague Mare. Way to be. A good horse. Yep, the power of sideboarding. Right there. And the power of Plague Mare. Alright. Uploading Boros Bugler. Uploading that to YouTube now. Oh, that's a mulligan. And uh, there we go. That's what our two drops do. They kind of like just help us hit land drops, fill in our curve. If MTGA does best of three ranked, will you play it? Uh, if it's like the best, the the same ranked that that's out right now, no. All right, so we're playing Stompy, which isn't the worst for us. A bunch of Chupacabras and Hostage Shakers are certainly good against Stompy. I'd rather play events that have entry fees and prize payout than just playing for like an entire month and get a thousand gold and 500 packs or whatever, or five, five packs. It's just not worth the time. I like the events also for, for streaming with how I do here. For like streaming like I do, um, the events are, are good. Like this, you know, like we're playing like all these different decks. It's good to have like the, the five win or two loss. It's just, it's a good setup. Yeah, it's quite a good opening hand. Quite a good opening hand. Turn two Steel Leaf, turn three Null Hide. Turn four, Thorn Lieutenant plus Thrashing Bronzedon. Pretty good. Yeah, 500 packs. 
Yeah, I'm not. I don't want to grind 800 games for five packs now. Uh, Tara says, "Hey, Todd, my favorite card is at the moment is Nickel Bolas. Do you have a good traditional deck list to play it?" Yes. I think my, I really like the Grixis discard deck that I have for Nickel Bolas. Um. So. Yeah, here in decks, look for Grixis discard in there. Let's get all these cast downs in here. Uh, soot. So it's probably fine. I mean, I kind of like Plague Mirror because of Land War Elf. And yes, that's actually probably fine too. We're taking out Immortal Sun. Even though Immortal Sun stops Vivian. But then I have Eldritch Reborn and Playcraft. Yeah, Soot also makes Eldritch Reborn and Playcraft are better also. Let's put in Midnight, or take out Midnight Reapers. So I still have Playcrafter and Eldritch Reborn for Vivian. Yeah, I should probably have one Immortal Sun in the deck. I'll just take out Midnight Reaper. What would you replace Bloodfast with in the sideboard of this deck? Alright, if we had to replace Bloodfast... Um... Treasure map. Same kind of thing there. Uh, you'd want more anti-control stuff. Maybe just Thief of Sanity. That could be a replacement there. Or just more Duress Negate. Probably just another Duress Negate, honestly. Okay, good. Pelt Collector. That's not... That's not Land War Elf. It's a slower hand. That's good. Yeah, there's one Plague Mare in the deck right now. We could draw it. That'd be nice. Draw Plague Mare. Ugh. Another 5 drop. Alright, I'm gonna choop... I think I choose a Pell Collector. Yeah, I choose a Pell Collector. You know, they can just play anything and make those things 3 3s. And if I block Harpooner and kill Harpooner, then Pell Collector turns into a 3 3 automatically just from that. So I think if they're going to attack, well, I guess they're in a rough spot. I thought I was about to sneeze. Um. Yeah, if they attack with Harpooner first, then Pelt Collector turns into a 3-3, three, three, and then Vine Mirror makes it a 4-4. Four, four. It's going to be tough to beat Vine Mirror. I mean, because it's just, it's just going to kill us so quickly. We're going to be able to get their Kral Harpooner back, and Harpooner can block Vine Mirror. They're just playing Nullhide. I forgot about Nullhide's coming in from Eldest Reborn. Oh, this could be disastrous. I probably should just cut Eldest Reborn. Oh, okay, good. Phew. Well, we get to go put Nullhide Ferox into play now. Give me that Nullhide. And then... Yeah, I'm still just... Still just playing another Eldritch Reborn. I can't play Eldritch Reborn. Rude. Alright, playing Playcrafter then. 
Yeah, I'd have to spend two more mana. Which I do not have access to. I would have had a shock with the water grave. When you had two life, shocking is a precarious situation. Nah, Nullhide's not a punt because Nullhide blocks Vine Mare very well. I would block either of those. Definitely not a punt. Our opponent's kind of dead. Yeah, they're dead. Really, the reason why we won that game is the opponent didn't just keep the null hide in their hand. And, uh... And everything like that. Um... Do I want another Plague Mare? Another Plague Mare over Immortal Sun? On the draw? Immortal Sun's just gonna be too too expensive. You know, our opponent could have Vivian, but oh well. Do you think we need the dirt the Elder Reborns? Oh my gosh. At least they're on a mulligan. I guess. Good, they're going down to five. Could really really use cast down. Um Rachel upset. Anything. Cause I guess cause the mayor had hexproof, which is why they sacked Nullhide. But yeah, I was I was very glad they they sacked. Very glad they did sacrifice that. Dang, I was hoping Plague Mare was going to be able to take out that Pelt Collector, too. Okay, we got the cast down. Cast down strong. If I cast down the Llanowar Elf, I basically only have to do with, deal with these two. If they're down to two, two mana, one card. Go ahead and do that. I can beat a 2 2 and a 3 2. Well, royally punished. Now it's a 3 3 and a 3 2. Alright, need another black source. Hmm. Was. Worst possible scenario. I was hoping to have, you know, I was thinking they'd have some other more expensive card in their hand that we we're going to be trapping them with. We need to be able to choop here. It's not a choop. Um, I mean, I guess I just just play this still. Just takes out one of their their things. Yeah, it takes out Harpooner. We're going down to one. There we go, we got a choop. We're not dead yet. No creature, no creature, no creature. We're not dead. Ooh, boy. I can't cast Dusk Legion Zealot. And shoot. Yeah, I just cannot cast Zealot. <laughs> we just actually die. Horsey. And we drew a Chupacabra. This is looking good for us now. I guess, I guess they're done. I don't. I guess they're. Thought they couldn't come back. <laughs> Not playing that zealot. All right, two now for quasi sacrifice. We are getting there. Yeah, maybe they just had a bunch of Galtas. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, this is a this is a control deck for sure. This is definitely a control deck. This deck wins so slowly. Certainly control deck.
Like, there's nothing but, like, two twos in this deck. It's very slow. <laughs> Who would have guessed mono removal would beat mono creatures? Can quasi-sacrifice work at all in best of one? Dude, I don't know. Cold, I, you know I don't play best of ones, Colt. I don't know. So, I just don't know. Um, it's very good against Drakes. It's it's not that bad against aggro, because, uh, you know, chup copying Chupacabras over and over again, you're good. Um, you're actually really not that bad against those decks. Like, you would just want to play, you'd want to, you would certainly want to play um, more Plague Mares in the main. And with just playing Plague Mares in the main, you're honestly really not that bad there. Yeah. We got very lucky there with those troops. Okay, looks like we're playing against Drakes. We're hoping it's Drake and not Arclight Phoenix. Arclight Phoenix we're bad against. Drakes we're good against. We do need lands, of course. But that's what Zealots do. Zealots hit our land drops. That's what they're supposed to do, at least. Not doing their job though. And again. Wow. We have 25 lands in our deck. We were on the draw with a two lander, and we had two more draws. We've drawn five cards and not a single land. Yeah, that, that certainly hurts. Okay, no, no land still, so that's six cards. I mean, this makes up for the last game, right? We used all that luck on the last game for this. I guess that's fine. That's seven cards. No, this is a Hemorrhage by Fuel. It says in my hands in like little parentheses. Eight cards, no land. Ugh. We're 25 land deck. We got a lot of them. All right, ninth card. We got a land. We're in there now. We're in there. Nice dive down. And uh, just throw the Midnight Reaper out here. Built. I think I'm just gonna pass. Why'd I have to discard my immortal son? I should have discarded a hostage taker. Playing Playcrafter to make them discard is just not worth it. That's not that's not worth a card. Like that, that's that's just not worth it. Just making them discard like some whatever card they have in their hands. I really want to kill myself if I have a bunch of Midnight Reapers in play. I just hostage take the Midnight Reaper. That's fine. We'll do that. Uh... 
Um. Sure. I guess we gave them a use for their spell pierce. <laughs> we take our soldier as hostage. <laughs> What a betray. That's right. Why would they not just activate as Kanta on their turn? You could have cast this charter course on your turn. Why are they waiting? Let's go ahead and hostage taker, hostage taker. So if they kill Hostage Taker, our other Hostage Taker will come to play and it will Hostage Take the Midnight Reaper. But we do draw a card. So I went with I went with uh, play crafter over Elder Reborn because of spell peers. <laughs> yep, they're same with a bunch of dive downs. All right, you got me. I draw a card. And I'll just go ahead and sacrifice the hostage shaker to put the other hostage taker into play. And has to take the play crafter, so we still have that card available for the next thing. Okay, so has to take her down. Play crafter comes in, sacrifices itself. They discard a card. We both discard a card. Okay. I'll discard Chupacabra. I'm going to start this Elvis Reborn going. And uh, work on getting their Niv Mizzet into play. They found a dispersal. They don't have black mana though. All right, they're just casting discovery. I do still have Memorial to Folly. They can get back Memorial to Folly can get back Play Crafter to make them sacrifice yet again. They're down to 20 cards in their library. Bounce mm -hmm. me the Franklin. Do I want Midnight Reaper? How many lava coils they use? One, two, three. Three lava coils so far. Could like get a Midnight Reaper and nah, nah. If they have maximized velocity, I'm very dead. That's a thing. Wow. Yep. That's the card I can't beat from their deck, because all my stuff sorcery speed. So maximize velocity is a really big problem. That's certainly a big problem. Mm -hmm. 
We're going to take out Quasi Duplicate in this matchup because they, they have like the instant speed removal to like kill my things. It's not. Quasi Duplicate's not very good. Um, so we get cast downs in for some instant speed removal and some negates to kind of help us out a little bit. I think I take out two hostage takers as well. Um, yeah. I think the big the big reason why I lost that game was because I d discarded the Immortal Sun. I think that was a, a huge reason why I lost that game. I think if I discard, you know, because we weren't hitting land drops, so I had to go to discard. If I discard Hostage Taker, I th you know, if I can resolve Immortal Sun, we're in a lot better spot. The other thing is we may not have resolved Immortal Sun, though, because we did see multiple spell pierces in their hand. But no, I don't really want... So I, I just don't think we need all duresses and negates. Like, the game's going to go really long. Um, I don't think we need it to fill our deck with all of those. Um, so I'm just, just putting in negates. I think we, we still have to be worried about their drakes, like their creatures, the most. Like, more than their spells. Draw some blue mana, please. They kept both cards with Discovery. Do they cast that opt on turn one? Doesn't really matter. Ooh. Um. Yeah. They didn't Lava Coil last turn. I don't think I need to hold up Negate. Let's get another Reaper in play. Discarded Spell Pierce. They still wanted Spell Pierce. We've done tons of tons of this. Tons of just you know, op discovery, op chart of course, discovery. Sure been able to make their hand great. Why do you think no one runs Concoct? This isn't, isn't that like gain control of target creature with power two or less? It's not that strong of a card. They are building another 21-4. That's true. That's... Oh, turn three Midnight Reaper, turn four Midnight Reaper. The opponent just concedes. Can't handle it. Cannot handle it. Ugh. So that's good. All right. Hmm. Hands a keep. We don't really have too good of interaction for them. But, you know, I'm not going to mulligan Squire into Midnight Reaper. And with an Ultra War later. Concoct is the 3 UB. Oh, yeah, Connive is the other part. Concoct is 3 UB surveil for return a creature from your graveyard. Yeah, that's not so bad. It is, you know, kind of expensive, but. It's not so bad. It's like the third chapter of Eldritch Reborn. I really like drawing that uh, Playcrafter here. Third chapter of Eldritch Reborn, but you don't get Planeswalkers, you only get creatures. You have to be playing, you know, like some kind of, you know, creature deck kind of thing, but it's not that bad. You can play that with... I'm gonna discard play. Or I'm gonna give it a play crafter because it dies to shock. Squire doesn't. You can play that like in Golgari and get your Carnage Tyrant back or something. Ugh. Dang, I did not have a sacrifice thing for that.
now Eldritch Born's gonna do nothing. Man, I for I just forgot about this card. I took out Plague Mare from my deck. This is this is the reason to have Plague Mare in my deck. I just forgot about this card, Murmuring Mystic. I should have had I should have Plague Mare in my deck somewhere. Whew. Okay. It's just worth it to do this. Just want to kill Squire and draw a card. Dang. Nothing else to play this turn. Yeah, we've, we've had a lot of spoiler talk so far. You know, feel free to ask a question. Got got a spoiler question. So right now with Elders Reborn, I don't have anything too great to get back. Best card to get back is probably Playcrafter. That's a really good draw. That allows us to have... Um, you know, be able to protect our Eldritch Reborn. That's very good. Because over on their side, I can get Enigma Drake, but, you know, maybe a 1-4, a I suppose. Yeah, drawing the cast down for that Murmuring Mystic was huge. Very important. And actually, it does look like it was a good... Thing to get rid of. Are they going to kill us? I don't want to negate this because they just cast it again. And just negate. Like, I'm going to save the negate for the next maximize velocity on something else. At least I have a negate for like the next, if they have like another Drake. We're down to three now. Not a whole lot of life. Not a whole lot of life. Maybe I just sacrifice Midnight Reaper there? I don't know, this is tough. No, I, they know that, that Dive Down doesn't stop the, the sacrifice. They absolutely know that. They're doing that to draw... They're cycling their Dive Down and dealing me a damage. Like, yeah, they, they did that the earlier, too. Like, the first game, too. Like, that's... It's a good it's a good trade for them. Like, that's what they're doing. All right, they're going to discard their hand. And we get to negate this. And now we get Niv-Mizzet. Yeah, let's just get Niv-Mizzet. Alright, so Midnight Reaper is dead. We draw a card, we get to do one damage, get to deal damage to Enigma Drake, kill Enigma Drake. Um... I guess I go to one. There's not really any difference between two and one. Ugh. Yeah, I know Shock's gonna kill us. I guess I already played a land. All right, we got there. Yeah, I could have not attacked. If I don't attack, I'm not dead to Shock, but I think it's worth the attack. 
because with that thing off the battlefield, then Beacon Bolt wouldn't have killed us, you know, like, if they had, like, a removal spell for the niv it, the Drake would have killed us. Hawkeye, we are 3 0. With Demir, quasi sacrifice. Okay, let's let's move on. So if you're enjoying the stream, consider hitting that sub button. This is my, this is what I do each and every day from three to ten. And so if you'd like to help support me as a full time streamer, for you can subscribe there. And if you got Twitch, Twitch Prime, you got your free sub. So far we're at five subs on the day. If we get to another five, we're gonna be cracking open a booster pack. And there you go, Newbwig, getting that that Twitch Prime sub in. Thank you so much, Newbwig. For sub, you get those nineteen really cool emotes and. We're going to get some hype in the chat for our new sub. Thanks, Newbwig. All right, let's go ahead and keep this. Six on the day. What do you think about that gruel give all creatures ride enchantment? I think it's okay. I don't think it's, like, spectacular. Um, that's certainly a card that, that a lot of people have been asking about it. I like that the creatures are uncounterable. I think that's that's really nice. Um, but yeah, so it, it kind of I don't know. I don't I don't know if that like there's gonna be too much of that card seeing like seeing play. Uh, like yeah. I mean, I think it's similar to like giving your creatures like Path of Discovery, giving your creatures explore. Um, I think it's similar to that. Grixis control. Yeah. Yep. You know, yeah, it does combo with persist, but persist is not in standard. I don't. I mean, pers persist is something that I don't really think about these days. There you go, kitty. Well, they're going to be able to hit me with one thief of sanity. Because I'm getting lots of lands. I like that I have both Immortal Suns in my hand. Immortal Suns is certainly the best card in my deck. Um... I could see them getting, like, finding Eldest Reborn, but they're sitting on three mana. Ruin Raider. All right, you got me. i never seen that interaction before. Or, like, that, that not interaction, but, uh, animation. All right, we should find something to do with these Thief of Sanities. I mean, our deck's filled with Chupacabras, and our opponent even, they milled over two lands. So we've gone through a lot of lands here. Hey, Abigail, going good. We milled over another two lands. We gotta find our Chupacabras and Hostage Shakers. Or not, just more lands. You know, why not? Okay. I was reborn. Shut up and dance with me. So we'll play another Memorial to Folly. Huh. I wasn't really expecting that block. So I didn't want to leave only one creature back where they kill the creature and then they get in with the Ruin Raider. Can we get a spell, please? 
gosh. Tech is not liking us. Get the play crafter back. And just get rid of the thief of sanity, I suppose. Yeah, right? If my opponent didn't bend four lands earlier. Yeah, if my opponent bend like those four lands in a row. <laughs> that would have been real bad. I, I would not be surprised if one of these two cards was also a land that they have of ours. Like, there was just three lands. I would not be surprised at all. Oh, I should have sacrificed Playcrafter. I should have... Oh, well, that's good. That's good. But I should have sacrificed Playcrafter so I could have got it back with... With that, but actually that's fine. Okay, so let's get their Thief of Sanity. Yep, Thief of Sanity. Alright, Quasi Duplicate. We finally found that. Because even Quasi Duplicate, you know, if they would have if our opponent would have found that with uh with something before and not taking it. Alright, so we'll do Playcrafter. And I'm gonna we're gonna sack the original Playcrafter. No, I'll just sack these tokens, actually. Let's just whack them for six. They're kind of close to dying. I guess we have to discard a land. Oh, darn. How would I best replace the Immortal Sun in this deck? I have all the other cards. Um, I think you can replace it with either Dream Eater, Doom Whisperer, or like probably yeah, probably one of those two, like Dream Eater or Doom Whisperer. You can also play the uh, Siege Flyno if you'd like as well. But yeah, those would do. Big brain play, draw all your lands to discard to jumpstart. There you go. Oh no, they get to take our immortal son. Yeah, I think this is just a, a la last ditch effort with this freebooter just to see my hand. Because this was explored here, so they know about the quasi duplicate. Oh, are they. That's their chupacabra, not even my chupacabra. Back that immortal sun. Um, doesn't seem like Plague Mare kills anything. I want Blood Fast here. I kind of want Blood Fast here. I should probably just be playing cast down, but we have we have so much removal in our deck. I actually want Bloodfast. I'm gonna do that change. I'm putting in one Bloodfast, keeping everything else the same. Um, whenever RNA drops, I'm gonna be doing sealed. I'm saving my gems. We're gonna be we're gonna be playing limited. We're gonna be drafting. I'm gonna be trying to build up you know my collection. So we're gonna be. be uh, drafting and playing sealed. Uh, sealed first and then drafts after that. I, I like playing sealed to start with to, to learn the format um, before I start drafting archetypes. Um, I like kind of just, you know, sealed you can kind of just make your deck out of your sealed pool and then I kind of like play, you know, playing the cards against each other and seeing like what works well with what and then going on from there. I would play, if I was forced to go to a PPT tomorrow, what do I play? I would play Naya Value. Yeah, people play aggro in best of three. We, 
whenever we're playing our control decks earlier, we're playing against a bunch of Adanto Vanguards that were killing us. A lot of aggro decks. Alright, so one Eldest Reborn down. Great draw afterwards with the Immortal Sun. Glad the Immortal Sun's not leaving my hand. So that's what we're going to be doing once the 17th hits. Um... Doing sealed. What's the goal of this deck? Kill all the opponent's creatures and then poke them to death with some 1-1s and 2-2s. Two have to kill all their creatures. Yeah, the Naya deck, uh, X, like, power net right above you when exclamation point decks. I'm sorry, Hawkeye. I can't, uh, man, me moving there kind of moved Hawkeye. But yeah, it's, it's an exclamation point decks. We played it yesterday if you want to, if, if you want to check out the YouTube channel, youtube.com. Slash, slash C, slash Todd Stevens MTG, if you want to check the deck out in action. You can find a video of that there, too, if you want to watch that after the stream tonight. They don't have a counter spell. Dang, that's sad. Alright, Hostage Taker's pretty good. I, I can just Hostage Taker the Dusk Legion Zealot. And just recast it. Basically turn Hostage Taker into a Zealot, where it draws a card, deals a, deals us a damage. Yeah, lots of people love their Disdainful Spirit. Um, I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of the card. Alright, so they wanted to save their last two mana for most likely another Disdainful Stroke. That would make sense to me. So I'm going to just go ahead and copy this Hostage Taker. Because I think they have a Disdainful Stroke in their hand. Or in a gate. One of those two. I'm going to take their Doom Whisperer. What were your thoughts on Frilled Mystic? Is that the new... Yeah, Frilled Mystic, that's the new um, Mystic Snake. Um, that card's very good. I like it quite a bit. I'm excited to cast that card. That's a good one. It's kind of crazy how good some of the, the uh, you know, the XXYY. Yep, well, it's the Sample Stroke. Called it. It's kind of crazy how good some of the XXYY cards are, and then how bad some of the other ones were. Like, how, like, True Fire Captain, not very good. Crackling Drake, completely busted. That that Mystic thing, Frilled Mystic, very good. Uh, Basilica Bell Haunt, just a 4 mana, 3, 4 ETB, the opponent discards a card and you gain 3 life. Not too good. I was gonna, I was gonna just immortal sun and just to get that in play, but yeah, opponent dead. Because I was gonna immortal sun, because I was gonna immortal sun was gonna make my creatures big enough to kill my opponent, like with I was gonna raise their power to kill my opponent, and then I was going to, I was only gonna have two mana left, so I was gonna flashback, quasi duplicate, on the hostage shaker, to take their creature. Come back. Green red aggro when the set comes out. 
There's definitely going to be some strong green-red aggro uh, decks. There's there's going to be a lot of viable decks, honestly. Um, I don't like. I don't really see anything right now that that would just going to that I think is going to dominate. I think there's going to be a lot of good stuff. Like I like green-red aggro. I think there's going to be like a pretty good Mardu Aristocrats deck. I think Rakdos um, has gotten a lot of a lot of stuff. I think there's going to be good Rakdos things. If it's just red black, or if it's going to be or Jund or or what. Um, you know, control is definitely going to be good. Uh, blue green flash stuff like this green and untap all your lands card is pretty ridiculous. Um, lots of good things. On thoughts on Big Daddy Rakdos, the Rakdos, the Showstopper. I don't think that card's very good. I don't. I don't really envision Rakdos, the Showstopper, seeing very much standard play. I think it's. I think it's similar to, um, I think it's very similar to like Tetsamok. Um, and you know, Tetsamok doesn't see any play and I think it's kind of that kind of power level. Um, and same with like Demon Lord Belzenlock. I think it's kind of on par there uh, with Demon Lord Belzenlock. It's, it's, you know, like it's around those kind of six drops. I don't really see that just the short, the showstopper making much of a standard impact. And yeah, uh, comment in there is I feel that you're gonna be. I feel like you are gonna be silly without to not play three colors with all the shocks and everything. And, and yeah, most likely I think that three color decks are gonna be kind of the norm as well. And I'm never going back to my old school. I know I can shock in and play this plague mare here to kill the vanguard. I don't really want to shock in, and I, I kind of like these little Dusk Legion Zealots kind of doing something, making my opponent pay for life. Yeah, Bedevil's going to be good. <laughs> His name's not Rakdos, it's Thanos. <laughs> Let's bring some love to White Black Vampires, potentially. I'm not sure. I haven't been paying attention to some of the creature types to see if there are more vampires and stuff. I haven't really been paying too close attention to to that. Oh come on, minus two, minus two. Make it make an artifact. Evil Kill. but not a curious choice. Uh, you can have the land. Yeah, they're already down to 12. We zapped them pretty good. Decisive action is needed. Oh, Aurelia. <laughs> that is true. Everything in Simic is just an elf. Oh, Choops. Choops is pretty good. Attack. Please do not do that. Yeah. Everything in Simic just seems to randomly be three Good creature choice. types. Like it can't even be like less than th less than that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We have main deck to Kali Honor Guard warning. 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 Main deck Honor Guard. Warning. This is a problem. This is a huge problem. Opponent, do not cast another card. Thank you. Um... Huge problem, huge problem. Alright, please do not have instant speed removal opponent. I could go Plague Crafter here. But Plague Crafter I guess it would kinda of kill Karn in the same way. Maybe I should just go with Oh no. Oh, this is a huge problem. We're dead. We're just dead. You are acting unwisely. Yeah, I should just play Plague Crafter because quasi duplicating the Plague Mare is actually what I'm going to want to do because Plague Mares are un unblockable. I should just play Plague Crafter there. That was just a mistake. The choices we make reveal who we are. Woo! 
Wow, we got lucky. We got lucky. The, op the opponent did not minus and get to Kali Honor Guard. Whew, I can't beat that guard. Yeah, you can have Shalai all you want. Whatever. Yeah, I messed up. I should have played Playcrafter last turn. Alright, make him sack one of these angels. Sack that one. You are only hurting yourself. Hopefully we can come back still, even though I made that one bad play with a quasi-duplicate. Don't minus one. Don't do it. Don't do it. See, I'm not casting Hostage Taker, because I think Hostage Taker is just going to die and get their creature back. Alright, plus one. Your decision. What are your four cards over there, opponent? Foil that thing. Sure. No! They had another one in hand. Well, that's game. Ugh. 4 0 final boss. So tough. Alright, let's get some more cast downs in. Um, Ritual of Sight. <laughs> Just kills Honor Guard. <laughs> uh, Eldritch Reborn kills Honor Guard. Mortal Sun's good. Playcraft are good. All of our cards are kind of good. I guess Midnight Reaper don't necessarily need. Um... I feel like they're going to take out a Danto Vanguard. So maybe I don't need this Plague Mare. That's the only thing it's going to kill. I'm going to take out Plague Mare. I, I'm kind of assuming my opponent's going to sideboard out at Danto Vanguard on the draw. Yeah, so Honor Guard says the creatures entering the battlefield don't cause abilities to trigger. Every single creature in our deck is just trying to get abilities to trigger. If they're not, they're terrible. Yeah. Can't really do anything. Kotli, too powerful for my deck. So we got four cast downs in our sideboard for it, and even a ritual of set. So that's that's the plan. Hey Toby Maru, howdy. Two mana auto win pre board against me. Yep, game one, auto win. Running Nightville Predator in the deck. Nope. I don't think Nightville Predator is better than other options for the deck in standard. For, for you to play Night Vale Predator, it would have to be just like a world filled with like Carnage Tyrant. I don't think so. Takali into Shalai. No! Wow. They just kept a Danto Vanguard. Okay. I'll just play some crappy 1-1s. One that make them pay a bunch of life. And I'm, I'm likely going to be quasi-duplicating the Seeker Squire next turn.
Yeah, we did draw the cast down for Takali. So that's great. I like that we hit the land drop here, too. Because I want to really want to get towards this Immortal Sun. And I'm, I'm planning on quasi-duplicating the Seeker Squire and just, you know, making another creature to block the Adanto with. Well, darn. All right, we need another land. Get a Mortal Sun in play. So, did anybody go to FNM tonight? Because for a lot of y'all, probably it's nine o'clock here at Eastern Time, so a lot of y'all are probably. Wow. Did I just misread how good a Danto Vanguard would be here or something? Like last game, they just saw us play Plague Mirror and just Dusk Legion Zealots. Why did they want Vanguard in their deck? Nah, blocking definitely not bad. Arena is your FNM? Same. Oh no. Wow, this this whole game just could not have gone worse for us. For just how things have gone. Eh, it could have gone worse. We could have just not had an answer to, to Kali Honor Guard. Things are not working out too, so well. Oh, Vampire Sovereigns are good in the deck. I like Vampire Sovereigns. I have them in the Quasi-Duplicate deck. I don't have them in the Quasi-Sacrifice because the Elvish Reborns have taken up that slot. All right. Hostage Taker. Ravenous Chupacabra. Or another land. Yeah, I mean, obviously now blocking feels bad because I don't have anything to copy, but... Whatever. That's our tough match. People to play Honor Guard. That's a tough matchup for us. So, 4-1. We can take a loss there, that's fine. We can still get to five wins. We just gotta win this one. Thanks, Ghosty. Or Ghost CY. <laughs> Honor Guard's your favorite card. Yeah, we got. Didn't we get. Yeah, we, we're getting people with Boris Bugler. We were winning with Honor Guard, so. You know, fair play. We won a couple matches because of Honor Guard, so. Thanks, Nub. I'm glad y'all are in here. If you're kind of new to the, the channel, I also, I have started a YouTube channel uh, that does not have the music, of course, but, you know, it has everything else uh, from ever since January or December 28th was when I started. So you can find all the replays of the deck. So afterwards, if you'd like to uh, check any of those videos out or just get a get the subscribe in for that. need it. Oh, we've gotten 50 subscribers today. Sweet. So we're at 322. Got to get to 1,000 and then 4,000 hours watched also for uh, YouTube Partner. So we're a long ways away from that. And whoops, I accidentally just, I just posted the Boros Bugler lead. It finished uploading, but I forgot to put in a description for it. So it's my bad. I need to type that in real quick. More Dusk Legion Zealots? Sure. I should not have played a land first. We could get like a Watery Grave here that I'd want to play it, put in tapped. Or a Memorial to Folly. What was the. Not punished. Getting kind of punished of not having a land. Change the deck list. Advanced setting game M A G. We 
when you for the gaming category on YouTube, if you type MAG, the first thing that comes up is Magic the Gathering Arena. That's kind of cool. All right, that should be changed. Yeah, I guess I could quasi-duplicate one of these Zealots, but I feel like they have a shock and they'll just shock the Zealot. So I think I'm just going to play a Plague Mare out here. Oh, nice, Dorky Dad. Just made your whole family sub so we get five more? Dude, thank you so much. Getting those YouTube subs in. Yeah, youtube.com slash C for channel slash Todd Stevens MTG. Yes. Hey Todd, can you help me? Can you help my girlfriend decide what deck to play for Modern tomorrow between Burn, Dredge, or Infect? I actually think Burn's in a good spot. I think Burn is as well positioned as it's been in a long time. Um, so yeah, I'd recommend Burn. Plus, with Burn, you get to you know you get to finish your your matches pretty quickly, hang out with people. Yeah, I'll go burn. Um, dredge is off. Dredge is really good, so dredge is a, a good choice too. I'd say infect is the third, my third choice out of those. All right, so we're getting play crafter in play, sacking a zealot, and now I'll have quasi duplicate for the play crafter. No. So much for quasi-duplicating a Playcrafter. That's not going to work now. I guess I'm just going to duplicate a Zealot next turn. Perfect. Rah, 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 rah. Hawkeye doesn't like Chupacabra, that's why he's facing away from the the screen. Dude, this zealot has been beaten down. <laughs> this has been one overzealous member of the Dusk Legion. my things. Uh, sure. You can go. <laughs> this music selection is fire. Thanks. You can check out my playlist on Spotify if you'd like. Got the playlist there. Yeah, these emotes are gas. <clears throat> so, what's our opponent doing over there? They got a bunch of radical ideas. Radical ideas kind of telling me that that they have like Arclight Phoenix. Um, that they're that kind of deck with Arclight Phoenix. Enigma Drake's not. You don't usually see Phoenix with Enigma Drake though. I definitely, like, I think we're pretty good against Blue-Red, but we're not as good against Arclight Phoenix, because Arclight Phoenix is, is a card that's perfectly fine to sacrifice. Um, I mean, I guess they, they probably just don't take this if they have a shock, right? I'm still gonna, I'm just gonna copy the Zealot. I want to hit a land drop. There we go. Word on Red is you're almost pro level at the new Smash Bros game. No, I am. I mean, I've. I'm definitely not close to that. Um, I've been playing the new Smash Bros game. Uh, I got it. 
I got it for myself for Christmas. Got a, a Switch and, and the new Smash Bros. game. Um, I like it quite a bit, but... Oh, yep, they are Phoenix. Um, but no, I, I don't, not really planning on streaming that at all. Just streaming Magic. Yeah. Alright, so they have one Phoenix right now in the graveyard. Do they have another one in here that they got earlier? Nope. Just the one. We can hostage take her that one. I've been playing Magic since World Wake, for the most part. I played a little bit when I was a kid, but not really competitive or anything. So basically, since World Wake. Hmm. Spell Pierce? They're not gonna have Spell Pierce. No, in the Arclight Phoenix deck. Wow. I Eldest Reborn says you have to sacrifice a creature or a planeswalker, right? Right? Doesn't it say that? Yeah, I didn't think you could sacrifice a player. But I guess that's what happened. Or they sacrificed a player. I didn't think you could do that. Hmm. It's a it's a weird choice by the opponent there. I guess you can sacrifice players. Uh, let's see. Opponent's arc light phoenixing it up. <laughs> um, yeah, we're not as good against arc light phoenix. So plague mare out of here. Do I want to? I want to trim two duplicates. And then trim two other duplicates. And bring in Duress Negate. <laughs> Sacrifice 50 minutes of your life and proceed to lose. <laughs> a cat butt emote? Oh, that's a good emote. A cat butt emote? I don't know. Yeah. Hawkeye does... Because Hawkeye likes, you know, Hawkeye's putting his, his face in mine because he wants me to pet him. So then he's just putting his butt in the camera. Samir, with a resub for the second month in a row. I love you and hate you because I never play Magic before, but now all I want to do is play. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Samir, for the continued support. I really do appreciate it. And I'm glad that um, I'm increasing your desire to play Magic. Uh, I guess the Midnight Reaper is gone. I got to cut something. I should probably cut a hostage shaker. Too late. All right, so number seven on the day. There we go. Yep, this is Demir Quasi Sacrifice. And we are four and one. So this is final boss. If we lose, it's our second loss and we're done. If we win, it's five, five wins and we're also done, but we got to our five wins. So this is the final boss. Keeping a slow hand with a lot of lands. Um, I like hitting land drops. Those are good. And with us being on the draw, hopefully we can draw some spells to fill in our curve here. Heck yeah, Zerf. Ending with Selesnya Angels. That deck's really good. And it's a lot of fun. Uh, Omega. Hey there, Todd. I've been a couple of months away, and I came back to play Arena yesterday. I'm Silver 2 now with a Pre-Constructed. Dude, way to go. Good job. Um, I'm gonna actually duress here. I'm gonna, I want to take like charter course or something like that. Hmm. They have like the same hand we do. Anyway, uh, don't you think it's kind of easier in arena than in Magic Online? Oh, I think like the from I haven't played so I haven't played like the the ranked stuff. I, I don't I do the best two out of three things. But from what I, what people were just saying in uh, earlier, before you get to gold with the ranked, it's very easy, I guess. Cool, Wolfmaster saying almost completed Selesnya Angels and doing good so far with what you got. Nice. Alright, so. Oh, it still has a couple radical ideas. If they just cast Arc Light Phoenix the next turn, I think it's I think I'm just gonna go ahead and, and play Hostage Taker and take it. 
and hope that my hostage taker doesn't die for a turn. I think that's my that's my plan right now. My favorite planeswalker is honestly probably Domri. I really liked the Gate Crash Domri planeswalker, so I, I'm pretty excited about getting a new Domri uh, that will be revealed, I believe, Monday. It's not like confirmed or anything, but I, I'm just guessing the Domri is going to be revealed on Monday, and I am very excited for it. What's the over-under on Todd playing Mardu Angels after the new set comes out? I actually don't like the Black-White Angel. I don't think that the Black-White Angel is too strong. Um, honestly. So, I'm definitely going to be playing Mardu other decks. Um, like, you're going you're gonna to be seeing me play some Mardu Gruesome Menagerie, that's for sure. And Gruesome Menagerie with Mardu sounds awesome. Mardu Aristocrats with Gruesome Menagerie. I'm going to be making that deck. But Mardu Angels? Meh. Nah. There's also just even more good removal. Um, and I'd, I'm not sure if the angels are going to be that great. In, um, that great after uh, after the, the next set. But we'll see. Hmm. So I cast Arclight Phoenix, so I get it. Or I Eldest Reborn and kill this Enigma Drake. We got another hostage taker. Let's go Elvis Reborn. Our opponent didn't have removal last turn. Maybe they'll have removal again. Let's just get this Enigma Drake out of here, though. Plus, even if they kill... You know, if they have Lava Coil, hostage taker is gone forever. But if they kill hostage taker and send it to our graveyard, this third chapter putting hostage taker into play is pretty nice. What do you think of Rampage of the Clans? You see meme potential. Yeah, there's probably meme potential. Is that the is that the new enchantment? Is that, that thing? Rampage of the Clans? I don't know, like the or no, that's Savage's rhythm. Oh, Rampage of the Clan is that that thing. Destroy all artifacts or enchantments. Okay, yeah, that's that's an amazing card for EDH. I don't think that's gonna really see standard play. But I guess you could You could build a I guess it destroys your own and you get creatures as well, huh? So you could just build like a, a deck with a crap ton of like crappy artifacts like Mox Ambers and stuff. Hmm. You can play it you can play it with a the white mana tithe the, the white tithe enchantment that you know your your opponent's just like not paying two mana for every time they draw right and so you just get a bunch of treasures and then you play that thing and blow up all your treasures and that enchantment and get a bunch of three threes Ooh. is it instant speed it is instant speed whoa and there's centaur tokens dude centaurs do you like me some centaurs all right i have nothing on my battlefield so let's just get another Arc Light Phoenix. I have nothing in my graveyard, I mean. My favorite card is Corsair of Crufix, which is a centaur. I feel like their Phoenixes have not been taken hostage enough yet. Hmm. Well, looks like we're taking our hostage shaker t <laughs> hostage. Um, yeah, I don't play the monocolor decks too much, but I certainly have. I've played you know, like even big red, but then mono white and mono green stompy, mono green elves. I certainly play them some. It's just the mana in standard is really good, and it's just usually better. Like the decks are better if you play more colors. To change the art of lands, type in your basic land that you want to change the art. And type it in, and then go to the advanced filters. And just hit reset. 
and whenever you reset, the other basics will come up. Rip off. Well, the thing is, if our opponent can cast three spells next turn and get back the three Arc White Phoenixes, we're in a little bit of trouble. Oh, Electro Dominance with Jaya? Oh, yeah. Yeah, with Jaya, definitely. Also very good with the green enchantment that lets you untap your lands at end step. That's it, though. Final boss defeated. 5-1. Demir Quasi-Sacrifice. It's getting there. There we go. Get our 2100 gold. Let's get our rares. Any mythics? No mythics. No mythics. That's okay. That's okay. Too, too good for mythics. Let's see what we got. Desecrated Tomb. Hmm. Does this work with, like, the new Kaya? Wait, what does the Kaya do? What does Kaya do? Exile up to two target cards from a single graveyard. You gain two life if at least one creature card was exiled this way. Dude, Kaya's just tick up, make two bats. Oh, no, it's one or more. You only get one. Man, so you only get one bat. Night Owl, thanks for the bits. Thanks, Night Owl. Here's the real question. Any RNA cards you've seen thus far that you might want to update Demir Quasi Duplicate with? Uh, not that I can think of immediately. Evergreen Tomb. And Isolate. I think likely that this Demir Quasi Duplicate deck would be three colors. Yeah, you only get one bat. So you get a bat. All right, Demir Quasi Sacrifice, still good. I liked that we put the Plague Mare in the main. I thought that was a good change. Um, but yeah, everything else still good. So if you want to play Quasi Duplicate, I really like this way. I think this deck is, is better against the blue-red decks with Plague Crafters and Eldritch Reborns. If you're playing against more um, aggro or things like that, you can uh, replace those. Um, Eldritch Reborn can be Doom Whisperer. It can be uh, Vampire Sovereign, things like that. Plague Crafter, you can have... Plague Mare, you can have Thief of Sanity there. You can uh, get some Charter Courses. I think Charter Course is pretty good in this deck. Uh, that that can be the Plague Crafter spot there if you're not playing against Blue Red as much. Oh, Slurs, you were the Grixis player we played against? Nice. GG's. Alright, so if you're watching on YouTube, feel please hit that subscribe button. And, um, and there we go. Hopefully check out another video. And I'll see y'all later.